Is he just in the other room on the phone, Carolyn, Rob? We're having a meeting. We are ready. Let's go. <laughs> Pokes, okay, we're, we're dragging. Every day we're taking a little bit longer. Gretchen's in her living room warming up right now, guys. <laughs> Just Gretchen. So she's going to have a long warm up again, Gretchen. No one to talk to. Oh, 
down hill to work out. Three, two, one, go. 20 seconds left. Make sure you reach down, elbow to ankle. Give yourself a twist. And then plant your hands on the ground. Quick switch. Rock the weight into your hands. Yep, switch those feet. Awesome work. What's up, Megan? I have arrived. <laughs> Hi, Steve. <laughs> Good. Three, two, one, and time. Hi. Hello, warm up. <laughs> Come with me. Okay. Hello, warm up. So, <laughs> right here. Go ahead, Wadi. He's going to balance on one leg, evenly distributing the weight in his feet, pushing into the ground with his toes. He's going to alternate rowing those dumbbells up, belly button high, elbowing the ceiling. Okay? Here we go. We're going to go for 30 seconds. So we're going, what? Is it three? I can't see that far. Is it three or four rounds? Three rounds. Three rounds of a minute. I will tell you guys when to change halfway. I'll tell you when to change halfway. Here we go. Up in three, right foot on the ground. Two. Yes. 30 pounds. One, and let's go. Right foot into the ground, actively engaging with the floor with your feet. Your feet should definitely feel a little crampy in your calves. Roll that weight to your belly button. Roll belly button high. Good, elbow the ceiling behind you. If you have one dumbbell, keep the same leg, but change hands now. Good, pulling that up using your lats. Good, get that dumbbell belly button high. You can go a little lower towards me, the hand towards me. That's it. Three, two, one, change feet. Three, two, one, and go. Other foot, other foot, let's go. Hanging over. <laughs> Hanging over, nice and long from head to heel, or one of my coaches, Nick Winkleman, shout out, used to say, head to heel, strong as steel. So you wanna lift that back leg up. If you have one dumbbell, it's 15 seconds in, change hands, not legs. We can, we wanna lift that back leg up nice and high, make like a T, come on, little friend. There you go, next try. You got it. Three, two, one, and time. Good, keep those dumbbells. We're gonna do a forward lunge to curl the press. Wadi, can you show us poor favor? All right, watching Watson over here to your right. He's gonna grab his dumbbells, take a step forward, and then he's gonna curl to press at the bottom of that lunge, oh yes, and then he'll change feet. Okay, I will say halfway, if you want that extra burn, that extra focus on one leg, I'll tell you when to switch halfway. Okay, ready? And three, two, one, and go. One minute, so take a step forward. Up to you, Jen's using one dumbbell, which is totally fine as well, a lot of us only have one. If you could, you could also do one arm, and I'll tell you when to switch at 15 seconds as well. So alternating legs if you like. If you have that one dumbbell, change arms. Good, curl to press, take a step forward. Curl, press, using the ball of that foot in front to push back up into a standing position. Good, three, two, one, we're halfway if you're not alternating legs. Go ahead, take a step forward. Drive through the ground to help propel those weights overhead and then come back up. Good, your core is holding up nice and tall. Try not to fold forward when you're in a lunge. A lot of times people like to fold forward here. Pull that belly button in nice and tight. Here we go. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Press, good. Engage with the floor to help get those weights overhead. Actively pushing into the ground, good. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome, grab your kettlebells, everybody. If you don't have a kettlebell, that's fine. Use your dumbbell. Watson, could you please show us that kettlebell clean to a curtsy? Lunge one. squat. One bell. One bell. So you're gonna reach down, clean it up. One hand. Um, one hand. So one hand up, clean up your shoulders, and then that foot steps back, good. If you want it harder, so that's one variation, if you want it harder, the same leg that you're curtsying on stays on the ground. So now we're adding extra weight to that outside glute. Here we go, three, two, one, and let's go. Hinge down, clean up. 30 seconds aside. Yep, 30 seconds aside. Yes, thank you, Watson. Sweet. Boom, up, 
Turn, good. So again, Watson's going opposite arm and leg leaning. The arm that he's cleaning with, opposite leg stays on the ground. So again, if you want that progression, keep the same leg on the ground. So if you're cleaning with your right arm, keep your right leg on the ground and send that left foot behind you. Good. Sarah has a nice swing to that clean. She goes down, hard style kettlebells, which is straight down, straight up. Or you could add that nice, graceful, low impact swing. Works really nice. Halfway. Change sides. Three, two, one, and go. Good. And curtsy. Well done. Eyes forward. Eyes forward. Good. Want to take a little bit bigger of a step back on your curtsy. Just a tiny bit. There. So you go down a little bit lower and load up on that glute a tiny bit more. Here we go. We're almost there, everybody. We're almost there. Almost there. Ten seconds. You got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Great work. Now we have that crossover mountain climber. So he's going to be in a plank. He's doing great over here. Guys, give him a shout. Here we go. He's going to be in a plank position. Crossover mountain climber. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Oh, yeah. Get ready today, by the way. Yeah, we're going to do it in a minute. Yeah. Okay? <coughs> we have all kinds of creations. I'm going to know about the climbers. Hmm? I said it was to be a minute. Gina. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. I can't hear you. Good. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. If you have socks, you could also use socks and slides on a hardwood or tile if you like. Try to get that knee to elbow. Good. Actively pushing into the floor, belly button up and in. 40 more seconds. Woo! Oh dear. <laughs> wow. If you need a break, I guess you could go 30 seconds to one elbow and then change sides. I don't know if that's going to be any better though. Halfway. You can always come down to your form. You can always elevate your hands as well. Fifteen seconds left. Yeah, it's pretty gnar. Sicky, sicky, gnar, gnar. Ten seconds. Good. Again, if you need a regression, elevate your hands onto your sofa, a chair, two, one time. There's no progression to this. Here we go. Three. We're starting from the top again. Single leg alternating row. Two. One. And let's go. Put your foot on the ground. Hinge over, nice and long. From head to heel, strong as steel. Boom, belly back in. Your core is not supporting your upper body with the weight. You really have to engage that core. Pull those ribs together. I have a string around your belly button and I'm pulling it up towards the ceiling. Good. Actively engaging the floor with your big toe. And then avoiding that want to rotate your hips open. You want to close no touching, no touching. Three, two, one, time. Same size. I'm in the middle. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So we really want to keep, turn your toes with me. Yeah. So we don't want to spill into that hip. It's going to cause some hip pointers on the outside here of the plant legs. So we want to keep closed off. Good. And the way you can do that is by thinking about turning your toe the opposite direction really helps to close that hip and fold it towards the floor. Ten seconds since Jen told me to. Sanitize. Sorry. Three, two, one, and time. Let's go. Forward lunge to curl press. Grab those dumbbells. Actively engaging with the floor. Three, two, one, and go. Take a step forward. Curl that weight up. And then press it overhead. Good, Sarah. Actively engaging with the ground at the bottom to get that press out. Use your legs. Think of it as a spring. You're pushing in the floor. That energy is bouncing off the ground, going up through your body and out of your hands to send those weights overhead. Get it, Jen. Oh, man. Jen grabbed two blues over there to do this. She's like, I want to see this. If anyone, if anyone can do it, you can do it, Jen, to be fair. And we're halfway. Change sides. Three, two, one, go. If you're not alternating this. Which in this exercise, I would probably alternate. <laughs> Good. Press at the bottom. Good. Pushing into the ground. Awesome work, everybody. Again, feeling that big toe engage with the floor. 15 more seconds. 
This is round two. We're going for three rounds. Ten seconds. Awesome work, Watson. Good. Wilfred's alternating arms. You can do that as well. Do a little seesaw press. And time. Good. Grab your pillows. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. We're all team blue here. Team blue. For, yep, clean it up. Give me a nice curtsy. Good. Yeah, Watson's going that same arm, same leg. So it's Jen loading up big time. So it's Sarah on that right glue. Woo! Oh, I said left. Hello. Good. We have 10 more seconds and we're halfway. Big load on that same side. Yes. Three, two, one. Change feet. Three, two, one, and go. Heart rates are up. Blood is pumping. Good. Step out. Well done, Watson. Actively pushing the floor to stand up. Well done, Sarah. Good. Swing it up. Clean. Curtsy. Good. Good, Wilfred. Keep battling. Well done, everybody. 15 seconds left. Good. Up. Keep that torso nice and tall. We do that by again. Engaging that core. Zipper those ribs up. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Time. Back into the crossover mountain climber. So again, if you need a regression, because a minute is a heck of a long time doing these, elevate your hands on a chair, on your sofa. Here we go. In our plank position in three, two, one, and let's go. Crossing over, actively pushing into the floor. Don't let your shoulder blades sag down. Think about almost, not rounding, but pushing that heart up to the ceiling. Good, and again, I'm gonna say as a challenge, don't alternate sides. Go same side, same side like Watson's doing. Blow out that same side oblique. Good, we have 10 seconds left and we're halfway. Three, two, one, halfway. It's Freaky Friday today, I suppose. Here we go. Good Friday. Good Friday. It's supposed to be. This is good, it's good. Good, Watson. Watson's going same side. This does suck. <laughs> 15 seconds, Jen's right. Jen's right, this, this is not the best. 10 seconds left. I'll tell you what though, by the time it's soft, summer comes. Yes. Five seconds, especially the next block. Three, two, one, and time. Hey, this is our last round. Let's get right into it. Grab your dumbbells, single leg alternating row. Let's do it. Up in three, two, one. Let's go, one foot on the ground, and we're off to the races. Alternating, pulling that dumbbell up. Belly button in, nice Watson. Good Jen, good Sarah. If this is starting to take a toll on your feet, calves, hamstrings, you can come up a little bit, like Sarah and Jen, a little bit towards 45 degrees. Good, pushing into the ground. Engage with the floor. What's your base? Also help propel the weight up. Think about engaging with the ground, push down to help pull those weights up. Two, one, change feet. Three, two, one, change feet, and let's go. Roll those weights up, back nice and flat. Your eyes should be a little bit in front of you, a little bit in front of you. We don't want to crane our neck. That kind of shuts off our posterior chain. We want to keep it in a neutral position or slightly chin up. Good, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Good. 10 seconds now for my last number to use. You got it. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Keep those dumbbells. Forward lunge, curl and press. Here we go. Last minute we do these. Three, two, one, and let's go. If you want that final push, do not alternate legs. If not, then keep alternating. I'll tell you when to switch. You can also add that seesaw press at the top if your arms are starting to die. Seesaw press meaning one goes and while one's lowering, the other one presses, kind of like we did this week. Hold down, you guys. This horse, killing it. 10 seconds and then we're halfway. Good. Well done. Three, two, one. Change feet if you're not changing. Continue on if you are. Good. Eyes forward. Torso nice and upright. Putting some onus on that front leg ankle mobility. If you're having a hard time going straight down and keeping your chest up, um, 
I will set, well, there's some posts that we do on ankle mobility, super important for your squat depth and your lunge depth. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Time, reach those dumbbells, grab your kettlebell. Kettlebell clean and curtsy, squat, lunge, debatable on what term you want to use. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Coming on up, good, clean it up, curtsy. So again, two options. Jen, Sarah, all four of them are doing the same arm, same leg meeting. Kettlebell's in the right arm, right leg stays on the ground, left leg is swinging behind. You can also do opposing if your legs are burning out. You can also alternate, same arm, but alternate legs. Lots of variations you can do. Three, two, one, whatever way, we're halfway, 30 seconds. Change legs, change arms. Good, again, if your legs are dying, you can, you can alternate legs, just keep the same arm. So one side, step behind with the right, the next time, step behind with the left. Absolute survival mode right now. Good, 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds now, good load up on that leg, stand up nice and tall, two, one, time. Yes, well done. Well done. This is the last movement in this block. Here we go. In that plank position, you oh, have those cross elbow mountain climbers. Here we go. So again, if you need a regression, elevate your hands. Here we go. Three, two, we got this team. One, and let's go. So I'll repeat that again if you need a regression because this is gnarly for one minute. Elevate your hands. Put your hands on your sofa, a chair, anything to help relieve that pressure from your upper body. Okay, if you want it harder, you could be like Watson. Watson is cross elbow to cross knee, but he is not alternating sides. You have 45 seconds, everybody. Not alternating sides. Good, we're almost halfway. The other backs are kind of around. They're actively engaging with the floor. They're not sagging that spine, the shoulder blades down. And we're halfway, 30 seconds left. Last time we're doing these. So Watson's gonna change sides now. Well done, Watson. Engaging with the floor. As we get tired, start pushing into the ground with that L. Index finger and thumb. Push down, push down. 15 seconds left. Push down between the index finger and thumb. Make it tense. Feel that strength up your form into your shoulder. Five seconds left. Equivalent to engaging the ground with your feet. Three, two, one, and time. We are done with that block. Yay! Now, since it's Friday, our next block is abs. Okay, so we have four ab exercises. We're gonna give these cats 30 seconds to relax. I will demonstrate. Our first exercise is gonna be a plank. You're gonna go with the same elbow, cross elbow. So now we're adding, we're adding a layer to that last plank cross elbow. Now you're gonna hit both elbows. How this guy? Boom, 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 boom. boom. We're gonna go for 30 seconds only. 30 seconds only. Uh, Here we go. Up in 10. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Three, two, it's only 30 seconds. Why are you guys going so far back? And I am scared of Gina. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna be in the bathroom in like two seconds. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> elbow to elbow, elbow to elbow. Good. Elbow to elbow. Same side and then across. Same side and then across. And it's different. It's not different. It's not Good. different. We are very upset. <laughs> Someone's getting fired. Probably me. Five seconds left. I will never be late again. Three, two, one, time. Good. Here we go. Next one. Seated figure eights. What's in? Could you please do us the honor? Watson has a medicine ball, but you can use a dumbbell, you can use a tennis ball. I mean, really, you can use anything yes. that you could fit underneath your legs. So you're gonna sit on those sit bones. Core posture nice and tall, like you have a stomach pulling your string, and go. He's gonna keep his feet off the ground, and he's gonna figure eight that medicine ball or whatever implement you have above and below his legs. Here we go, 30 seconds only. Three, two, one, and go. Nice and tall. Make sure your posture, we're not rounding that lower back. Think, I have a string attached to your spine. I'm gonna pull it up nice and tall like a puppet. You're gonna sit nice and high, good. Good, so come up a little bit higher on your sit bone if you can. Don't be afraid to readjust. We're doing this four times. So do it correctly instead of pinching that lower back. 10 seconds left. I'd rather us do 15 seconds of good, right? And then pinch that lower back. Down to three, two, over. 
regression over again. Elevate your hands onto something high. Three, two, one, and let's go. Plank elbow to elbow. Same side across, same side across. Belly button in. So again, those regressions. Elevate your hands. Come down to your forms. Good. 15 seconds, we're halfway. Great work, everybody. Keep breathing. Hello out there, you guys can do it. We're done in three, two, one, time. Awesome. Heading over to those, I can't see that far. Seated figure eights. Seated figure eights, here we go. In three, two, 30 seconds, one, and let's go. Good, so again, as we get tired, you can lower your feet to the ground. Jen's doing and just alternate lifting a leg. No problems there. This is tough. We're halfway. Again, you could keep your legs straight. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out a good angle for y'all. That works. Good. Five seconds left. Keep your boat pose for your figure eights. Three, two, one. Time. Good. On to the shelves. Third time doing the shelves. Let's go. We got this. We got this. It's Freaky Good Friday. Three, two, one. Go. Good Freaky Friday. Here we go. Pinning that lower back to the ground. Pinning that lower back to the ground. Good. Pulling your toes up towards your shin. Activate your lower legs. Good. It's called dorsiflexion. We're halfway. 15 more seconds. Great. Work before. Fantastic. Four. 10 seconds. You got it. Go for it. Keep going, buddy. You guys have one more round of this. And we're down in two, one, time. Here we go. Hollow rock press. Grab your medicine ball, your dumbbell, your kettlebell, whatever it is. You can go into a boat pose. You keep your feet on the ground. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. You can also go into what Sarah's doing again. Nice glute break, squeezing that medicine ball. But here we go. We do an isometric boat pose, holding that dumbbell in front of your chin. Good. Pull those toes up towards your shin. Good. We have 10 seconds. Good. We have Jen Seals tapping the ground. She's doing a little, little, little sit raises with her upper back. Three, two, one, time. We have, this is our last round. Here we go. In that plank elbow to elbow. Last round. Let's do it. It's Friday and why not? Here we go. Three. Okay. This guy's getting a band around his toes. Let's go. Three, two, one. up towards his elbows. You go, Watson. Here we go. That's awesome, man. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I mean, last round, why not try something crazy, right? Halfway. Well done, Jen. Well done, Sarah. Keep going, ladies. You guys got this. Good. Well, Fred, keep those hips high. Five seconds left. Don't try not to crash in that lower back. Last time we're doing these two. One and time. Here we go. Head over to those seated figure eights. Seated figure eights. We're up in three, two, one, and go. Nice and high on those sit bones. Nice and high on those sit bones. Chest and eyes forward. Oh my God, I hate you.
Jackson, um, half dumbbells. Here we go. Yep, take a step back, drive that knee up if you like. 90, 20 weight distribution. Reach, hinge at the hips. Three, two, one, change feet on the fly. 90, go. 90, 90, 10. <laughs> Good one, nice. 110%. 100, yeah, there's more, always more than 100%. Oh my god. Whatever, yellow. My math sucks. Three, two, one. Time. My cow professors would be so happy. <laughs> Here we go. Grab those last implements. Are we ready? Three, two, one, and go. Deadlift. Goblet clean. Goblet squat. Add a hop if you want. Ah, good, Wilfred. Yeah, hear the breathing. It's awesome. It's a finisher. 15 seconds all out. If you got it left in the tank, let's see it. You got it left in the tank, let's see it. Max reps, max reps. 10 seconds now. 10 seconds now. Good. Up. Here we go. Change the pace, change the pace. Five seconds now. Three. Yes. Awesome. Two. One. Time. Last 30 seconds in this workout. Four, four, four. Let's go. Three, two, one, four, four, four. And we are off to the races. Four mountain climbers, four knee tucks, four pipes. The magic number is my soccer number. Good. We are halfway. We got it. We got this. It's Friday. We're going home. 